Hi, I welcome you to everyone of online platform teaching. So in my previous class, I explained you recent changes in the direction and composition of trade and implications. Let's have a discussion on the topic of the rational and impact of uh, trade reforms since 1991 on balance of payments, employment and economic growth. So up to 1991, in fact, India was uh, following the inward uh, looking trade policy strategies. So inward looking trade policy strategy is also called as the import substitution. So import substitution policy was being achieved by using two ways. One is imposing tariff and uh, quotas. So usually tariffs are imposed on the uh, importing uh, items and quotas are quantitative restriction on goods and services. But after uh, 1991, when uh, the economy was liberalized uh, by the Indian government, so India started to adapt the outward looking policy. Uh, it is also called as uh, boosting the export in the uh, nation's uh, uh, export and uh, import. So uh, the main rationale of uh, implementing the uh, liberalization, privatization and globalization policy in the nation was because India had the crisis in the foreign exchange and India India's external debt was around 23% of uh, GDP and even internal debt was around 50%. So these are the uh, main reasons uh, which made the government of India to introduce the new economic reforms. So in fact, the country uh, moved uh, a lot, a lot of changes after the uh, implementation of new economic reforms, and uh, the main motto uh, of implementing the economic reform was to achieve the self-reliance by uh, by liberalizing the uh, export and import. So let's understand uh, what is the impact of uh, the new economic reforms on balance of payment. So it is also called as uh, the BOP. BOP is defined as it is a statistical record of the economy during a period of time with the rest of the world. It is called as BOP. In a layman definition, so it is an economic activities which is done by a particular nation for a period of time with the rest of the world. It is called as the balance of payment. As usually we know that our balance of payment has been always in the crisis. But before 1991, in fact, it was uh, having a lot of deficit in the balance of uh, payment. So what is deficit? When the import is higher than the export in the nation, usually deficit occurs in the balance of payment. Throughout uh, the uh, five-year plans, I mean up to fourth five-year plan, our deficit was uh, was uh, mount, mounting like anything. So when uh, the India has uh, come into uh, come into fifth five-year plan, and in the fifth five-year plan, the the surplus in the balance of payment had been uh, increased. So after implementation of the trade reforms, I mean after implementation of LPG policy in 1991, what impact it has uh, made on the balance of payment, let us understand. After introduction of reforms in trade sector, there could be improvement in the balance of payment account. In fact, uh, the uh, even uh, increasing the surplus in the balance of payment is one of the objectives of the LPG policy. The deficit in the balance, uh, especially in the current account, so was of around magni magnitude of 17,634 crore. So there was deficit in both respect of trade and indivisible in the year of 1990. After adopting the uh, trade of uh, the trade reforms of LPG, the deficit in the balance of payment uh, in the current account started to shrink. Uh, in fact, in 2000-2001, the deficit had gone down to 11,598. So, in, in the year of 1990-91, uh, it was the period of implementation of LPG. 
the deficit in the current account around uh, 70,639 crore. But in 2000-2001, the deficit in the current account has come down to 11,598 crore. The deficit has been decreasing in the balance of payment. Although deficit in the balance of payment during, uh, during the period had increased at increasing surplus in the invisible uh, brought about improvement in the balance of account. Highly significant uh, changes uh, took place in the uh, overall balance between the current account and the capital account. However, uh, the deficits reappeared again in the year of 2008 and 9 because there was a financial crisis in the world. So, it was also uh, damaging to the Indian economy. In spite of the fact that there was a surplus in the account related to invisible uh, and capital account in the year of 2013-14, the trade uh, balance and, tra and balance of current account were in the deficit. Yet to the balance of payment was uh, the surplus owing to surplus in the capital. So it seems uh, that the country is finding uh, difficult to sustain the positive in impact on the liberalization policies upon the balance of payment. So this is all about the impact of the impact of the the new uh, economic reforms on the balance of payment. So let us understand what is the impact of the new economic reforms on the employment uh, creation. In fact, uh, the uh, one of the objectives of new economic reforms was to um, achieve the employment or sorry, create the employment opportunities more in the nation's development. So, uh, uh, on the basis of current account after implementation of uh, the, the uh, new economic reforms, so the unemployment is estimated in uh, many ways. So, uh, one of the way of estimating the unemployment is called as current daily status. The unemployment rates uh, for males increased from 5.6% to 9% in the rural area and from 6.7% to 8.1% in the urban areas between 1993-94 and 2004. Thus, the impact of trade and other economic reforms was quite disappointing in, in, the, uh, in the pointing of uh, employment creation. In fact, uh, uh, it is one of the disappointing that uh, the unemployment rate has been increasing drastically though uh, many reforms uh, are being taken place in the Indian economy. So, let us see what is the unemployment rate in the uh, nation since 2010. In 2010, our unemployment rate was around 2.4%. Uh, 11, it was again increased for 2.52%. And 2012, it was around 2.6%. 2013, 2.8%. 2014, 2.7%. And 2015, uh, it is 2.7%. Uh, uh, and 2016, again, it was 2.7%. Uh, and 2017, it was come down to 256 and 2018 2.54 so uh, this data indicates that though we had uh, introduced many reforms in the nation's development still we have uh, unemployment rate which is being increased year by year so let us understand what is the impact of the new economic reforms on economic growth so usually in the nation economic growth is estimated by many ways in fact gdp is one of the best measurement of estimating the uh, estimating the nation's development it was uh, uh, it was one of the major rod to estimate the uh, nation's development but there are another ways to estimate the nation's development like uh, human development index like global uh, hunger index like uh, global inequality index so these are the other measurements of uh, estimating the uh, nation's growth so how the new economic reform has impacted on the economic growth so here we can say that our gdp has been growing drastically after implementation of new economic reforms in the nations in fact before 1991 
uh, we had a stagnated growth so between 1950 to 1980 our gdp growth rate was stagnated uh, for only 3.5% for this growth professor rajakrishnan called as hindu growth rate so in order to overcome this stagnated uh, growth the new economic reforms was implemented and uh, it is succeeded in fact the new economic reforms has been succeeding to increase the gdp so let us see uh, the gdp rate uh, since uh, 2010 so, sorry since 2002 in fact our gdp our, uh, gdp was around 4% in 2002 and in 2003 it has increased for 8% and 2004 it is again come down to 7% in 2005 6 and 7 2005 6 and 7 three years i mean three consecutive years our gdp growth rate was more than 9% in fact we can say that gdp growth rate has been increasing after new economic reforms but here is the problem in India growth takes place without job creation it is called as jobless growth in fact it is it may be uh, the GDP increase might be good for the nation's development along with that it also damages for the employment creation so this is all about uh, your uh, fifth chapter of international trade and finance so thank you so much for watching this video.